What did you say? <laughs> number two is high. Number, number two, one. Number one? <laughs> no. Okay, oh, you said number yeah. one. Yeah. Good afternoon guys, so I'm currently in the car with my friends Hamid and Nasrin and uh, we are heading to pick up some food because we're going to be cooking some, uh, it's kind of like a traditional food right Hamid? Yeah, it is. Yeah, cool. it's so we'll go to the supermarket, grab the food and then I'll uh, talk to you soon. Garlic. 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 Oh, that's not so there's the man with the vegetables <laughs> so we are back at Hamid's house and he is preparing the garlic now amazing shops as you saw there where Iranian people are the best at stacking things beautiful colors so what have we got here Hamid? Ah, uh, we are going to prepare bakali katok. Okay, I'll try and remember that. <laughs> can, you, can you repeat again? Repeat it? Please repeat it. Say, Please repeat. say one more time. Bakali katok. Balagi. Bakali. Balagi. Bakali. Bakali. Bakali katok. Bakali katok. Nice. Okay. Love for him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was really hard. Say something. It. Actually, it's somehow, uh, we can say stew. Mm -hmm. uh, originally from north, uh, north of Iran. It's very delicious. How many garlic does it need? So we'll have really good breath after this <laughs> meal. <laughs> Actually, it, because we are going to cook it, it doesn't have right. a oh. right. You don't use it wrong. Can you tell me all the ingredients? Uh, garlic. Okay. Broad bean, I think. White broad bean. White beans, yeah. Yeah. Some... Yeah, we always what forget was the name of this. Turmeric. 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 A bit need salty. Uh -huh. it's more than you know, cheese. Spicy chili. But I've kind of noticed in Iran that you guys don't really use much chili compared to other countries in this area. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, surrounding countries of Iran yeah. use a lot more chili than you do. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I believe so. Uh, Pakistan, uh, all Arab, Arab countries. Yeah, right. we can say. It. And that's interesting when you get to the south of Iran, to all those cities that neighbor those Arab uh, countries. Mm -hmm. Their food gets really ch more chilly and spicy. I think Persian uh, food culture tends to be more sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And do you think? I don't like it. You don't like it. No, I love it. No. Come it's not on. at all. How have you had uh, cabbage? I, no, I hate it. I love sweet. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Oh, what is what is that uh, vegetable for Halloween? Pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins. Yeah. I love sweet pumpkins. Right. They, they, that's yeah, a, I hate it. Actually, <laughs> you're not original person. So much hate, Hamid. <laughs> I'm not. You're not. Do you think it's because it's like transitioning into Europe, so you've got a combination of both? Because yeah. seeing as there's not as much chili here, and seeing as you're right on the edge of Europe, so it's like Eastern European style then. In a way, it's like a combination yeah. between Asian and Eastern yeah. European. Yeah, can, yeah somehow yeah. we can see. It is noisy. Yeah. 
And this is traditional uh, Iranian <laughs> machine. <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> so this is the bowl you cook it in? Yeah. Okay. Gamach. Gamach. Yeah, traditional. Can I see it? Yeah, it's, it, it has, you know, somehow metal. It's, no. That's not metal, it's pottery. Oh! So you're frying the beans now? Beans? Yeah. You have to fry it. It's too much garlic for that. Dry dill? Turmeric? Turmeric? <laughs> turmeric? Yeah. I think you, you can pronounce it turmeric or turmeric? Turmeric. It depends where you're from. Salt? As usual. Pepper. Yeah. And that's everything. Yeah. After 30 minutes, uh, add water to boil. Slowly you can smell it. Yeah, yeah. The dill and the garlic. Yeah, the combination. Oil. Several bad puns later. So it's been about 15 minutes and now we're going to add the hot water, right? Yeah, hot water. Cool. Just to boil for one, some, somehow one hour. That's it. A few inches later. So how long has it been cooking now? Uh, it's, uh, some yeah, one hour. One hour. Yeah. So it's almost ready, but yeah, you have to add eggs. It's a lot of rice you got there. <laughs> Were you saying this is special Iranian rice? This is organic rice. Organic rice. Organic rice from North of Iran. And so, can you tell me about this instrument? Uh, we call it tambu. Uh, we have two kind of instruments: uh, traditional and uh, local one. Actually, this one is a local one from west of Iran. It's yeah. like old instrument. Maybe we have some uh, documents in our history. It it comes to maybe seven hundred, seven thousand years ago. Seriously? Yeah, you can find a statue in the National Museum of Iran. Okay guys, so the food is ready, uh, hamad has been cooking up a storm uh, and we've also got a new friend Sarush who's uh, joined us for dinner. He's from Shiraz in the south. So Hamid, can you tell us about the food? We call it Babali uh, It's completely vegetarian with broad beans, dried dill, turmeric, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> salt, and some you know, spices. Pepper. Yeah, yeah. yeah pepper yeah. if you are. Uh, and garlic and the rice, simple rice. Serve it, serve it this one and then give it to him. Yes, sir. <laughs> you must. <laughs> okay, what's your idea? So nice. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So many different flavors. Mm -hmm. The garlic is coming through. <laughs> um, but I love garlic, so that's a good thing. <laughs> and uh, the dill, definitely. And the beans. Good mm -hmm. consistency. Mm -hmm. Well done, Hamid.
Oh, yeah, let's clap on her. Yeah. Is it your favorite dish? In Iran? Uh -huh. um, it's definitely up there. Top, top three. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Top three. First of all, falafel number one. No. Nah. Second, falafel Fresh number Fresh two. <laughs> falafel sandwich one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is number two. Is that insulting? Really? Is that insulting? <laughs> No, is but it, do you is know? it number one? What did you say? <laughs> number two is high. Number, number two, one. Number one? <laughs> no, okay. No. okay. Oh, you said number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that is a number one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so after dinner, I said goodbye, sadly, to my great friends and headed to the airport. A huge thank you to Nasrin for always being there at the end of a message for any information or fact checking I need and just being a really great person to be around. Also a huge thank you to Hamid because without Hamid a lot of the places and people I got to meet would have not been possible so I'm going to leave Hamid's information down below and you can contact him if you go to Iran and you want a tour or something like that and he can sort you out and also I'll leave Nasrin's Instagram below. Iran guys has been literally one of the best trips of my life. An extremely special country with a lot to offer. I'll definitely be back. Such a nice experience tonight. You can see it was a pretty chill video, pretty just candid, just holding the camera and just kind of filming the atmosphere. Always fascinating discussions with these guys. They've got so much to offer. They're so, you know, well educated and knowledgeable and they have amazing insights, extremely open-minded, really interesting people to talk to about all different kinds of subjects. I really consider them great friends. This country has so much to offer, guys. You really need to check it out. Iran needs the tourism. It's super cheap. There's no tourists. It's a win-win-win situation. Come meet the locals. Have an amazing time. I'm in an airport hotel now, just across the road from the airport, uh, and I have to get up in a matter of several hours, head over to the airport, and get a plane to a country. I'll, I'll give you a clue. It's on one of the borders, one of Iran's borders. Leave your guesses in the comment section. It's gonna be a brutal travel day tomorrow. I have to go to a country very far away to have a layover and then come all the way back because there's no direct flights to this country that I'm going to because I'm not sure why. Again, thank you to Nasrin and a huge thank you to Hamid. Hamid made this trip like no other. He basically knows somebody in every city in this country. I'm gonna leave his Instagram below and make sure you give him a follow uh, because he's a makes documentaries and he's got a huge project that he's working on like we talked about in past videos but keep up to date with him and just comment and just say thank you from Nick really touched by the warmth of the people in this country for sure I think that's everything I'm gonna finish the video here and I'll see you tomorrow for a new country in case I don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night make a crazy face, <laughs> crazy face? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How, how come can we see you do it and then we kind of cook? yeah just go like ah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay.